Welcome back to Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm Josh with Josh Lavik and Associates and you're watching our Community Spotlight Series. We are here today with Laura here down at the Henry Vilas Zoo. Uh, beautiful day to look at some animals and take in the scenery and, uh, and that kind of thing at, a, at our wonderful zoo here in Madison. Um, so yeah, Laura, would you mind maybe sharing a little more with our viewers about the zoo, maybe some of the history and anything else that you think might be kind of interesting? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the Henry Vilas Zoo. We're on 28 acres in the middle of this beautiful park in Vilas Park. Yeah. Um, the zoo actually has kind of an interesting history. So it started in 1904 as a donation for the land from um, William and Anna Vilas. Okay. And um, it was then renamed for their son, Henry, who unfortunately did pass away when he was quite young oh, from complications wow. from diabetes. I didn't know that. Um, so in 1911, that's when it started as an official zoo. And we've obviously changed a lot um, since then. We only had sure. five uh, deer at that point, And now we have around 900 species, or sorry, 900 animals here okay. at the zoo. Um, it is one of the only free zoos in the country. Yeah. So it's really community supported well, which is such an interesting and really unique thing about this it's zoo. It's totally unique. I always mm -hmm. find that interesting when I visit at zoos in other areas, Milwaukee or Chicago or whatever, and just, yeah, it's, so, it's free. So mm -hmm. it's like available, very accessible yep. for anybody really mm -hmm. to just come and take, take, uh, take part in it. Yeah, which we have, that's really a source of pride for us here is that yeah. anybody can walk in. We are open every day of the year pretty much and yeah. anyone can walk in and enjoy the zoo and the animals. Absolutely. Well, very cool. What uh, what about some? Uh, so I noticed dr coming in here that we're in kind of a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, what's what do some of the neighbor neighbors <laughs> say? It's like living near the zoo <laughs> and that kind of thing. Living near the zoo, you know, it's always interesting for people. Um, I think one of the coolest things about living near a zoo is the animal sounds that you might hear. Uh -huh. So we have two lions and both our male and our female lion will roar. So okay. you can definitely hear that for quite a ways. Our gibbons like to sing to each other. So that's an interesting sound. And then our black and white rough lemurs make a really loud vocalization that our neighbors get to hear and oh, wow. it's definitely one of those things that if you've never heard it before you wonder oh. what what is that you know what could that possibly be but uh, really interesting as well for them and then just living in this community we have a really beautiful kind of winter holiday celebration called zoo lights okay. and a lot of people participate in that as well I think I've been to that mm -hmm. before that's really cool so yeah tell us more about that yeah it is um, during the winter every year mm -hmm. and we have just the zoo is covered in lights. There's beautiful trees and they're covered. You know, we have these really big trees here at the zoo and they're covered completely with the lights. Lots of animal shaped lights as well. Mm -hmm. um, lots of different, you know, food and drink for people. And I just think it's so nice to see all the lights reflected off the snow if it has snowed by that time, which generally in December it has. Uh -huh. uh, so it's just a really great family event for anyone to come. Yeah, absolutely. Um, tell us maybe about, um, what about some of the relationship of like animal conservation mm -hmm. and maybe educational programs or anything like that? Um, can you shed some light on that for our viewers? Yeah, so here we are a member of 38 different SSPs. So an SSP is stands for the Species Survival Plan. So what okay. that is, we kind of joke when we say it's kind of like a dating service for endangered species. So if you're part of AZA, which is the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, and animals that you have here in managed care, they pretty much decide who gets to breed with who, who goes to which zoo. Oh, and that's it's an really, interesting thing. It is, yeah, but it's really important for genetic diversity when we have a mm -hmm. smaller population, obviously, in zoos. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we're putting the best matches together. Um, so that's a really big thing that we're involved in here. We also have a lot of different um, conservation organizations that we raise money for. Mm -hmm. In 2021, we raised $34,000 for oh, quite wow. a few different organizations. Um, one of the ones I really enjoyed was, um, I don't know if you remember, in February of 2021, there was a cold stun. It was very, very cold in southern part of the United States, and a lot of the mm -hmm. sea turtles were having a major issue with that. Okay. And so we did a separate fundraiser and made $3,000 to send down there for the people helping the sea turtles. Awesome. So we really enjoy helping out when we can. Absolutely, it's to totally important for yeah. keeping the animals and that kind of thing, absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, tell us, uh, yeah, I don't know what, I mean, we've been talking a lot <laughs> and you've shared a lot of great information, so I definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, I don't know, anything, any last uh, parting words you might share with somebody that's maybe never been to the zoo mm -hmm. or maybe new to the area, anything else that uh, you might highly recommend or last, last things, last few comments? Yeah, um, we have a beautiful grounds that the zoo is on. Mm -hmm. It's such a nice way to come and get to see animals. And the best part about us being free, you can come back anytime. If the yeah. lion happens to be sleeping when you're here or if the giraffe is having a training session indoors, you know, come back the next day, come back next week. We are 
happy yeah. for people to continue to come here, for this to be a great place for families and Absolutely. to make new memories and to spend time and learn a lot about our animals. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much here. I mean, you also got, plus the Wingra, the beach over mm -hmm. nearby. And I mean, in the wintertime, I, I know they do ice skating they nearby. Do. I mean, it's like, yep. you get all that, plus the animals. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really a special place. Oh yeah, there's a whole league of ice hockey people that are out there, <laughs> absolutely. So it's a really great place yeah. to do all sorts of different things. Well, wonderful. Well, I appreciate you taking some time and uh, sharing with our viewers on our Community Spotlight series on Best of Wisconsin Homes. Thank you. Thanks.